The Prisoner's Dilemma is one example of something Game Theory studies. Let's assume Alice and Tom are caught stealing wallets. Game Theory assumes they're both rational and self-interested. The regular punishment for what they did is one year in jail each. However, let's also assume the police expects one of them was involved in a more serious offense, stealing valuable paintings from a museum. Alice is offered a deal by the police. If she testifies against Tom for the more serious crime, and Tom doesn't testify against her, she gets zero jail time, but Tom gets eight years. Tom gets the same offer. If none of them testifies, each person only gets one year in jail. If both of them testify, they get three years each. Obviously, it seems in their best interest that neither of them testifies, as only two years of total jail time would result, one for each. However, let's look at things from their perspective. Alice sees that if she doesn't testify, there are two outcomes, one in which she gets one year and one in which she gets eight. She then sees that if she testifies, she either gets zero jail time or three years. Testifying, therefore, seems more appealing. The same thing goes for Tom. Game theory therefore predicts that both of these rational, self-interested people would end up testifying and receiving three years each. Definitely not the ideal outcome. Please note, however, that various real-world experiments have proven people are more inclined to cooperate than this model would indicate. So, take it with a grain of salt.